Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing some sequential turn signals on my Toyota Tacoma. I picked these up from Amazon for 45 bucks. Uh, if you guys don't know, Tacoma Lifestyle sells these same exact lights for $90. So don't be fooled, they're the same exact lights and I'm going to show that to you guys. Um, I don't wanna show any hate towards Tacoma Lifestyles. I love what they're doing and some of their products are really nice, but whenever you're upcharging you know, by $45 for a completely similar product, uh, that comes from the same warehouse in China. It's just a little unfair to your consumers. Uh, but yeah, these are the same exact lights that you can find on Tacoma Lifestyles, just for half the price. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. All right, so these are from a company called High Flying. Uh, I bought them from Amazon. Uh, this is the box that they shipped them in. Uh, as you guys can see, made in China. So you know, it's good stuff. Uh, but you know, it's Tacoma Lifestyles says that theirs are made in the US, but you know, that's not true. And I'm gonna prove that to you guys uh, right here. So let's go ahead and open these things up. So we're greeted with some uh, instructions on how to install them. So for those of you that don't know, it comes with the paper, but I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in this video. Uh, I got a layer of foam, and then we got our turn signals. They come, they come packaged pretty well. The lenses are covered uh, in tape, surrounded in foam. And uh, then you also get tools with it, which this was the biggest giveaway to me for uh, Tacoma Lifestyles on uh, how their product is from the same company. They come with the same exact screwdriver and uh, pry tool. Um, so just throwing that out there. But now that we got these things unboxed, let's go ahead and throw them on the Tacoma. For those of you that are asking why I would be replacing the ones on the Toyota Tacoma, there's a few reasons. One of them is the light output is horrendous. It puts off no light. It's barely visible in the daytime. It's really bad at nighttime. They're just, they're not very good lights. And also just look how ugly they are. Like the chrome on them is just disgusting. But enough ranting about these ones. Let's put the new ones on. All right, so you guys are gonna to wanna to start by popping off this cover. So it's it's gonna sound terrible whenever you guys do it. You guys can see there's these little gaps along the mirror uh, that help you kind of get your pry bar underneath there. So you use those to help you. Uh, if you have strong fingers and you can do it without using it, uh, then go ahead and do that. But I do recommend using the tool because it just makes it a lot easier. Continuing to prying this piece off, we're just kind of edging our way around. So after a little bit of work, you guys will be able to pop the cover off. Uh, it is a little daunting just because the sound of plastic is just terrible and you think, gonna break, you think you're gonna break something. Uh, but as long as you distribute, distribute the pressure evenly, then you should be fine. Okay, so now that we got the cover off, we have two screws that we're going to have to undo. We're going to have to undo this one and undo this one, and I'm going to use the included screwdrivers. Right, so I got the screws out using the screwdriver. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, and that's just because the screwdriver they gave you is, you know, obviously you're not going to get the best tools um, with, you know, a kit that's 45 bucks. But uh, it can be done. I would highly recommend using um, a drill or just a better screwdriver, but this one does get the job done if you need it. So next we're going to unhook the wires take those out and then there's this, these two little prongs right here we're going to push those in and pull this light out and this this cover will come off and then you guys can simply just wiggle the oem turn signal up and out of, out of place like that and then you unplug it right here so we get that unplugged and just like that we got our stock turn signal out and it's time to put in the aftermarket one we're going to start by plugging in the plug you're going to make sure that the little tab on the light uh goes into the connector uh, that's already on the truck so it might be kind of hard to hear me because the engine's on right now but i was actually wrong about the plug uh, it actually goes the other way uh, make sure you double check that but as, as you guys can see the lights on it's working so i'm going to go ahead and install it back into the housing all right truck's off now so you guys can hear me better so we're just going to slide this back down into where the stock one was you're going to want to make sure that this rubber seal it's not rubber this foam seal uh is going to get seated properly because you don't want water leaking into your headlight uh, and as you guys can see, none of that foam is coming up uh, on the bottom right here. So we can just kind of start to piece everything back together. You just press everything together, put the prongs in uh, that are behind this pin right here. As you guys can see, the prongs go through this little hole. And uh, then there's a little peg right back here that goes into the hole. So you line that back up and uh, then tuck your connector back down into here and clip the wires on. Now that we've ensured that our light works, everything's plugged back in and ready to go. We can take our cover and it's all a matter of just popping it back on. So we're just gonna line it up and then just press everywhere. Make sure it's good and there we go. So as I was installing the passenger side light, I realized that I didn't put the screws back into this side. So I'm gonna have to take off this cover and put the screws in. So don't make the same mistake I did guys. Make sure you put the screws back in. I'm sorry that I missed that in the tutorial, but I'm putting it in there now so you guys don't make the same, same mistake that I did. I didn't think to just put my hazards on so the engine noise isn't in the background. So I did that. You guys can see the sequential looks great. I mean, it just looks truly Amazing. We come over here. This turn signal's on. Could someone tell me this turn, this turn signal's on? Because I couldn't. Literally, this is all the light is. It's so dim. It's so ugly. It's so bad. 
So not only is this mod safer, but it also looks a hell of a lot cooler. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I tried to make it a little bit better than some of the other videos that I posted in the past. Um, I hope it was. Uh, I'm just slowly improving as a YouTuber and, you know, getting more fluent and uh, my, you know, talking to the camera uh, and, you know, showing how to actually do things. Um, it looks like there's a car over there just sitting. A little bit weird. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm trying to make my videos better to make the quality better. Just make it overall a better experience for you guys to watch. If you did it, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe and drop a like down below as it's greatly appreciated. It helps me grow. Uh, I'll leave a link to these down in the description below, and I'm also going to leave a link to the Tacoma Lifestyle video. And if you do choose to buy from Tacoma Lifestyle because they're a trusted brand, I don't a trusted brand. I don't blame you. Um, I would have done the same thing if I hadn't done research. I almost bought them, uh, then I found these for cheaper. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, leave a like, subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. It really shows me that I'm doing a good job. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.